Hi, I'm Morten Gans Pedersen, and you're watching Rovers Chat. Hello, and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. We're back for part two of a four part series looking at Rovers January window, what they need, what they should maybe get rid of, who should stay, who should go, all that stuff. Keep by so you can tell by the title. And today we're focusing on the midfielders. As you can see, I'm John by Scott again. How are we doing, Scott? All good. Uh, yeah, it's always uh, nice to talk about Rovers, and uh, I think, you know, to be on talking about Rovers in January, it's uh, it's all, all the more exciting. Yeah, it's always an exciting time. We enjoyed it on the channel. And for anyone who didn't see it yesterday, we covered the defenders and the goalkeepers, who we'd keep, who we'd, buy, uh, who we'd loan and who we'd sell. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the link below. It's on the channel as well. It should be the last video on. So go and check that out before we do this one. There might be a few spoilers in this one about what we said yesterday. So check that out. You know, there's plenty of coming. Like I say, second one of a four-part series. I'll show you the schedule now. So Tuesday, we had the defenders and goalkeepers. Wednesday, midfielders. Thursday, forwards. Friday, what should Rovers actually do in the window? So, Scott, midfielders, the focus of today. A quick one, I think, in terms of numbers. You know, I think the focus more be on forwards. But let's get into it. So, five options, really, in the midfield for Rovers. Buckley, Travis, Morton, Wharton, Garrett. And then some young lads in Western, Harlock and Whitehall. This is the, for anyone wondering maybe where Dak is, etc. This is the two midfielders in the 4-2-3-1. The formation that Thomason looks like he'll be keeping for the season. Uh, especially with Dak being in form. So we'll discuss Dak and that in the forwards tomorrow. But let's just look at these midfielders, Scott. I think that's, you know, a good debate. I don't think there's too much disagreement we'll have on this one. I think we'll all be in the same boat. Let's get into it. The first one, John Buckley. Now, we spoke yesterday about JRC. Remember to set that video out. And we said a month ago would be a bit different. And maybe a month ago with Buckley would be different in terms of, is he actually going to stay around? Now, I think the, the answer's obvious, isn't it, of keep for Buckley. So that's an easy one to do. Lewis Travis, keep. Tyler Morton, keep. Adam Morton, now. Is there any benefits, Scott, in Adam Wharton going out on loan in this window? You see, I think I think I'm a, I'm a big fan of Adam. Uh, I think he got a lot of quality. Um, I think you know with, with John Buckley now clued back into the frame, and you know I know that he's uh, currently suspended, but. Uh, we won't talk about that. Um, I think John Buckley is uh, a great talent, and I think you know you likes of Adam Wharton, Tyler Morton, and John Buckley. They're all they're all like you know those ball playing midfielders. That they, they're all very similar in in the types of in the way they play. Um, I think Adams obviously a really young raw talent. Uh, you know whether whether it'd be good for him to go and get some regular games, maybe. Uh, but I would quite personally like to see him playing for Rovers. Yeah, I think I'd keep him around as well. I think we've got enough. There's enough changes going on in midfield from game to game, and with five options, I think it complements a three-man midfield as well if we need it. Which kind of gives you your answer for Jake Garrett. I was saying keep him around as well. Have them as your five midfield options and maybe add to it, which we'll discuss on the Friday's video. Would you say keep Garrett around? Absolutely. Uh, I think, you know, I, me, me and my mum, we always refer to him as uh, Travis's mini-me. Uh, you know, they're, they're, very much, they're very much similar players. You know, they're not not afraid to get in, into, into a tackle, as we all know. Um, and I think, you know when he when he uh, when he got his booking against uh, Cardiff, I think that's the first time I've actually seen him miss time a tackle. Um, you know the the way he times his tackles, it's like he's been doing it for several years, like at top at the first team level. Uh, he's he's a real talent. You've got to keep him around. So. That's your conclusion on five midfielders. Pretty obvious. Uh, I think five or six works perfectly for two midfield spots because we're going to get injuries, we're going to need rotation, etc. Just to know, we'll obviously focus more on it Friday, 
Would you like to see another name added to that midfield? Um, yes, I would. Uh, I think I think midfield has been probably our weakest area this year. Um, I think you know a more senior head in there because they're all young. You know, Morton, Wharton, Garrett. You know, even Buckley and Travis. They're all young. Uh, I think you know. John Buckley and Lewis Travis are the most senior senior heads in that midfield, and I think you know, you you get a more senior player in there, it might just you know solidify that that midfield that we've been struggling with. Um, so I think yeah, I would like another another name added to that list. Yeah, I would. I think we'll discuss it more in Friday's video, but that's where we'll sign off. A quick video there. We all know how we'd like to have them. Let us know down below. Would you keep, uh, would you loan out any of them? Would you sell any of them? Would you like to see another midfielder come in? We'll discuss it more in Friday's video. But until then, hit like, hit subscribe, do all that stuff. And we'll be back again tomorrow to look at the forwards. A much longer video tomorrow with nine forwards to look at. We'll see you there. We're looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.